I got asked recently to shoot for 719 Studios. They have a studio downtown LA. It's two of them. The one that I've shot in before, and I think everyone else has shot in is their, their ethereal studio. It has like a kind of circular cut wall, modern architecture. I, I've seen a lot of e-commerce use it, and I've shot there for e-commerce. And so they opened a new one called Solaris, which is a 700 square foot loft. It's in a corner loft. So it's got windows to the left, windows to the right, all alongside the wall. So nothing but light coming in from the beginning of the day all the way till the end of the day. We decided to shoot about 3.30 to start makeup because they wanted us to produce photos that had a sunset feel to it, as well as kind of captured the space of sunset. My thing is I am very nervous about natural light because I don't do it as often as I'd like. A lot of the shoots that I do and a lot of things that I work and a lot of the work that I'm bought on for is always studio work. And it doesn't require much use of natural light, so I don't really get to play as much. So the fact that I got to do this meant that I got to leave all my equipment at home because I wanted to make sure that I actually took the opportunity to restrict myself and just use the natural light. But I wanted this to look good. So I hit up Fletcher Models. Uh, they were kind enough to send us two models. They gave us Che and they gave us Janelle. They both came, Kasi was on makeup and the space was nice. What I like about 709 is that they actually kind of keep the photographer in mind. Like there are some spaces you can go into and let's just be honest, a lot of people will shoot their peer spaces with like these wide angle lens. You think the space is huge. And then when you get in there, it's like five steps and you've already hit the wall. They actually have a good space. And the fact that the sunlight and everything is facing towards the sunlight meant that as that sun was coming through, it was stretching up the walls, it was stretching across the floor. So it was actually a lot to be able to play with that gave it kind of a dynamic, it had levels to it. And they didn't overpopulate it with a lot of stuff because a lot of peer spaces will do that. A lot of peer spaces will put um, so much decoration that you have to move in order to like really kind of get your set or to make a setup or to customize it. And then, you know, it's like, if you move anything and it's not back where it is, we're gonna charge you. So you're gonna move everything back. And so you spend all this time doing all this, these motions. They kept everything really fairly simple. So it was kind of an easy in and out. I mean, naturally LA right now, it is hot. And so we were dealing with a lot of heat at this moment in time, but they were kind enough to bring in a couple fans for us. And we just got down to business. Uh, as you can see, I shot Che on the couch and on the sofa and also did some work with the natural light for like a headshot type look. Really wanted to like, I just love the fact that you can have light coming as like a bit of a kicker and be able to kind of play off that as well. So as you can see with the Janelle image, I let the sun be the backlight and then the walls were already like the fact that everything is kind of like an off white, soft white, all the, the bounce of the shadows was just beautiful. Didn't really have to use much of a reflector to get anything in, but it worked out so well. And the space, they have nicely hidden all of the wall sockets. So it was hard to find a socket. There are two main areas that have uh, surge protectors. Um, unlike their other studio, uh, this one didn't have any stands or anything in it but that's something that they may add. Um, it had a style rack, which was medium size, which is good to put clothes on. Uh, the changing area, so you don't have to go to the bathroom, was um, a, they put a wall set up with a curved curtain so that the model could change, which worked out well. It's the small things. Um, whenever you go to 719, there's always a little mini cart that has clamps, extension cords, gummy bears, sun chips, little snacks, so that if you are, for instance, on your third shoot of the day and you show up at the studio and you haven't even had anything, a small bite to eat, there's always water and there's always something to eat. And sure enough, model set it up, I hit it up. Always do, um, but it was a good studio. And these are the final images.